dear fellow coders welcome to on little coder a lot of coders like markdown because you can create documentation using markdown markdown is quite simple it's a bunch of simple text and then you can actually have a nicely formatted documentation around it but what if i tell you that you can create a presentation using markdown i know you might already know a lot of solutions that can help you create a presentation using markdown but what i'm going to show you right now is you can create the same presentation within your favorite editor which is in this case let's say i'm going to say vs code visual studio code is a very popular ide from microsoft and in this video i'm going to show you how you can use a plugin called marp for vs code and then create your entire presentation markdown presentation using markdown within vs code which you can export it to pdf later on so the plugin that we are going to use or the extension that we are going to use is called marp for vs code and then it gives you a flexibility where you can create a presentation like a presentation of course a presentation as a markdown file like this and then you would get a presentation preview on the right hand side like this and then you can export it to a pdf i'm going to show you the extension how to install the extension how to use the extension how to create the presentation itself and how to finally export it let's get started if you do not have vs code vs code stands for visual studio code and it's a very wonderful ide from microsoft that you can use for a lot of different purpose especially if you are in data science you can use vs code to create your snippets code snippets like development workflow also you have the ability to use jupyter notebook within vs code that has a lot of functionalities so let's get started with vs code open your vs code and then start looking for the extension so click the extension tab and then say map and then look for it okay so we have got map for vs code so it says create slide deck written in marp markdown on vs code okay that's exactly what we wanted let's click install and then install the file so now that the extension is installed now you can see that it's been installed let's close it and then let's start creating our first presentation the language that we want is markdown but to make it simple you can click command shift p which opens your palette the command palette and then you can say give me the new untitled map if you don't see this thing you don't have to worry just click command shift p or control shift p if you are on windows and then type map so now you would get everything related to map so i'm going to say new map markdown for slide deck at this point i have something like this but what i would probably prefer is a two um, two column window where i've got let's say on the left hand side code and on the right hand side preview so now i don't need my extension i'm going to close it and then i'm going to say i want the preview on the right hand side and you can see at this point we have already got a preview a live preview and so far we have not also saved the file you can see like we have not saved the file it's still untitled to we'll look at the saving part later but you know currently at this point we have successfully set up we have installed the plugin we have created a new markdown file or a file that can that can become our markdown presentation so couple of things um, before we even move forward so the intellisense um, the the feature that uh, autofills in vs code is enabled here as well so for example let's say i want to add a new theme i can go here and add theme but now in this case i don't know what theme to add so what i can do is i can type control space and then it can give me the list of uh, themes that are available so ignore the first one this is something that i already created as a snippet you can see the tutorial of how you can create code snippets using visual studio code to improve your code workflow that is that has nothing to do with this video maybe if you want that you can see but if you want a theme for now let's stick to default theme but i'll show you how the theme changes let's say default and then do you want pagination yes i want pagination Pag paginate is equal to true now having set some default options like basic options configurations at the top now let's started let's get started with making the actual presentation let's say this presentation is about making a presentation itself okay and i'm going to invite you to my youtube channel maybe that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to say hello world and i'm going to say this presentation welcomes you and i'm going to finally say by one little code okay and you know in markdown we can also do like this we can do like this like you can add a hyperlink to it but i'm not maybe maybe yeah 
what harm does it have youtube.c slash one little code okay so at this point i've got a title i've got a presentation and so maybe i can say instead of saying presentation i can say how to make effective presentation i'm not going to actually show you the entire presentation but i just wanted to show you what happens here so i can now even make a title like i've got hello world i've got the effective presentation part as well so i can do like this something like something like this yep so now it looks better now let's say that i've got the content for the first page now i need content for the second page so maybe this is like um tips for effect tips tip hash one okay maybe this is my first tip and then i'm going to have tips to why am i calling it tips maybe i should say tip tip one tip two and then i can say tip three but what you might have noticed at this point is that everything gets added here so what i want is all of these to be individual slide i basically want three more slides right so what i can simply do is i can go to the top like just one line above that and then add three dash that's it we have got a new page now i'll do the same thing see you have got a new tab and I'm, I'm going to do the same thing again and at this point we have got three tabs and let us assume that um, you want an image okay maybe i want this image itself i'm going to copy the image address come back here i'm going to say image oops that's it i've got the image i can add a text in this case i'm going to say image for the slide okay or i can say what is the image maybe um, map for vs code so this is important for accessibility and a lot of other reasons this is like an alt text so now i have i've got a um, maybe how to make presentation using vs code okay vs code visual studio code okay so i've got the title and i've got an image maybe now let's say i want to add a code snippet okay tip two how to add a code snippet right i can say how to add a code snippet um maybe this image is slightly big uh, you can see that there is there's a little bit of formatting issues but but yeah uh, never mind um, like this okay never mind that tip 2 which is how to add a code snippet adding a code snippet is quite simple so you can go here and then say pi and i can close it oops i can close it and then i can say what code snippet i want in this case i'm going to say for or maybe i'll simply say import pandas as pd and i can say this is how you import pandas using python you can see that i've got my text i've got like small format and i've got an emoticon as well and i've got code that is formatted in python uh, syntax now um, the next thing is now you know how to add code snippet now you know how to add an image now you know how to have a title let's say that finally like if you are new to markdown like mostly i assume that you know markdown but if you want bullet points i can say like this okay first bullet second bullet or you can say one this is awesome two this is amazing and you can you can add like whatever you want so you can you can even add this to your title you can you can basically do anything you want so at this point uh, we have got a couple of um, couple of um, text we have got image and then we have also got a uh, python code syntax like you can have any language but in this case like we have selected python if you want sql all you have to do is like you have to say okay instead of this i'm going to say sql i'm going to say um sorry i'm going to say select star from db.table where limit 100 okay i don't know where where one maybe where one is equal to one and then limit dot 100 okay 
so i can basically write everything that i want like any programming language code basically whatever markdown supports i can have it so at this point i have all these things suddenly i think oh maybe i don't like this theme i want to change the theme i can go back here press control space and then say okay this theme does it look good okay maybe 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 not um can i change a different theme okay let me go see control space uh, uncover okay this this theme looks um looks slightly okay but ima uh, the image is not handled well so i would probably get settled with the other one that we had which is the the other one so hello world how to make a presentation using vs code then we have got tip 1 tip 2 tip 3 okay then so now let's say at this point uh, i'm done with making a presentation i want to save this pdf I want to export this pdf there are two things to it one i want to save this file so i can go simply say control s and then i can save this file so that's an easiest option i can save the file no 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 issues directly save the file second let's say i want to export the pdf how do i export it again the simplest way if you do not know how to do it command shift space sorry command shift p which is for your command uh, control palette or control shift p and i'm going to say mark and then you can see export slide deck as an option i'll click export slide export slide deck and then you can see where i can export the pdf i'm going to click downloads and i'm going to say my mark pdf and then i'm going to save it when i save it on the moment i save it it's going to actually open it and then it's going to show me the pdf okay first second third fourth so successfully i've managed to save the pdf using the plugin or extension that we installed using vs code so basically without even leaving vs code we have successfully managed to create a presentation especially a uh, developer presentation right like let's say you have something you want to embed some visualization so like let's say make, you're making a chart you want to embed it immediately so this is quite easy for you to navigate than you know copying it from this pasting it on vs code doing a lot of other things again the greatest thing with this is reusability you can take this markdown you can give it to anybody they can straight away start using your slide and also you know you have this entire flexibility of doing everything in markdown like you have, you have your hyperlink you have what like whatever you do it with your markdown which is basically what people use to write programming documentations mostly even on github so you can basically do whatever you want thanks to the team for making it open source and vs code is amazing if you want to check it out check it out otherwise stay safe see you in the next video